Hi right, guys, it is a gorgeous rainy day here in the end times and uh, <laughs> I don't believe it. Look at the sun coming out. So anyway, this was the recommendation to me from those clueless morons up at the world's most beautiful campsite. You know, where I've been saying, look at the sunshine out there, should be a rainbow. And so anyway, these, these, clueless, mor these clueless morons who were kind of first cousins to Duck Dynasty told me this was the most beautiful campsite on the planet. That the, what I was calling the world's most beautiful campsite was the second most beautiful campsite on the planet. And this is the, is the most. So here on this rainy day, I was actually thinking of moving my campsite. And here we are. We have the the can of Coors Light, you know, this is the, the drink of the clueless moron. Everything about it is wrong. This is, do three wrongs make a right? So here is the, what do we got? Let's go through the whole litany. So I guess this was uh, a skeet shooter's paradise where they bring out these uh, day glow orange skeet just all through but I'm thrilled to see somebody please dig a toilet don't steal the shovel and uh, they actually have a brand new a brand new crapper here Brand new. I mean, I'd almost like to steal that. I just can only imagine what's underneath there with two skeets in front of it. Yet, of course, all through the woods, piles of, of uh, human shit. Uh, so we've got, you know, right, right next to a brand new crapper. Oh, yeah, here's the... Well, they did clean up their campsite. So they cleaned up their campsite put their garbage in a big garbage bag and threw it in the woods. And then we have just at least 15 piles of shit. Look, look at this. This must be the women's restroom here. We're, we're talking, there you go. We're talking 30 feet from a beautiful trout stream. Then we move out here to the beach, to the rocky beach. And I don't know if you heard my rant from California about these uh, rednecks cutting down the very same species of whatever kind of ash or alder tree. So look at this. These, the, the, these fuckers, they have just come along with uh, axes, I guess. And, and this is a pretty good sized tree. This, this tree is 16 inch diameter at the bottom. Just, just cutting down the trees right into the middle, blocking the, the trout stream. So we've got uh, three trees. We've got the skeet shells lined up. Of course, we've got the, uh, oh yeah, the, uh, we've got the, the sh piles of, we, we've got shotgun shells. We've got 22s, or is that a 22 or a 44? They're shotgun shells. They're fucking skeet. They're uh, goddamn uh, piles of shit. They're cans of Coors Light. There's some other kind of bright green target down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely the the world's most beautiful campsite. So I think it's safe to say that your old doomsday tourist and his little dog will not be moving here. This this really is. I, I think this campsite encapsulates the Duck Dynasty mentality. This is this is this is everything wrong. Every single thing wrong with clueless fucking morons camping. But of course, compared to the timber harvest 
going on in the National Forest about 500 feet from here. In our National Forest, the giant logging companies, instead of three trees lying on the ground, we've got about 3,000. So anyway, I guess I will be heading back up to the the world's most beautiful campsite tomorrow, but one more night in civilization. And we actually have a ray of sunshine. Good Lord, smoking if you got them, guys. We're so fucked.